you. Shout it out, why don't you? Let everyone know. I'm doing pretty good today. It's sunny where I am, and I'm alive, so yep, it's a good day. Oh, look! We have a comment coming in already. This is a comment from Mary. Hey, Callie. My name is Mary from Southern California. Oh, that sounds really nice. Have you ever felt helpless? Let me think. There was a time when my little brother was really sick and he had to go to the hospital and he was there for a whole week. Mary, that was the longest week of my life because he was so tiny. He did get better and came home and now bothers me all the time. But yep, speaking of that, did I ever tell you that my mom is a doctor? She helps kids. So that makes her a surgeon? No, that's not it. She's an opta... Uh, no, that can't be it either. Let me just call her. Hey, Mom. What are you doing? Hey, baby. Are you filming your vlog? Yeah, Mom. Mom, so what type of doctor are you again? Ellie, I am a pediatrician. Right. That's it. Is that a hard job, Mom? I went to school for it. So I had years and years of practice, so I know what I'm doing. So what's the hardest part? That's a great question. I think the hardest part about being a pediatrician sometimes is seeing a child for the first time in so much pain. And then, of course, trying to comfort the parents because sometimes they feel kind of helpless. Wow. Speaking of helpless, this reminds me of a story in the Bible of some people that felt the same exact way. It's time for our Bible story. A long time ago, the people of Israel had been forced to become slaves in Egypt and were being treated very badly. They had to work day and night, day and night, and do whatever Pharaoh wanted them to do. That's a ruler, right? Exactly. The ruler of Egypt loved telling God's people what to do all the time, but he noticed that there were a lot of Israelites like a whole lot. So what did he do? He came up with a plan to get rid of all the baby boys. God's people needed help now more than ever. The parents became sad and helpless because they didn't know what to do. During this time though, a mom gave birth to a tiny baby boy. She loved this baby so much and didn't want Pharaoh to get rid of him. So the mother hid the baby for three long months she then did the only thing she thought might work. She put her baby in a basket and placed him in the water like a boat. She placed the boat with her baby into the water and prayed to God for someone to find it. And guess what? The baby was saved? You got it. The daughter of Pharaoh saw the basket floating and saved it. How amazing is that? Oh, wow. She named the baby Moses. And now the baby would live in the house of Pharaoh. In the story, we can see when we feel helpless, guess what? God helps us. Exactly. So honey, listen, I have to get back to work, but I'll be home soon in a few hours. Okay, mom. Thank you for helping me with this video. I love helping you. And I hope I was cool and I had some drop. Drop, Mom? If you're talking about swag, I think you meant drip, Mom. Now look at that. Now you're helping me out. Bye, honey. Bye, Mom. That story made me feel so confident just to know that if I ever need help, I can pray and God will help me because God helps us when we're helpless. My friends, it's time for me to get out of here. Peace out, friends. Catch you next time.